Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Spectrum and Channel once again. I make short movies, disastrous short movies. Short movies, gaming short movies, explosive short movies. And And also leave a like to the video and subscribe to Spectrum and Channel and share this video. So today is a tutorial video actually. I am going to do a tutorial today. If you don't like tutorials, so you can skip this video and you can watch my other interesting videos. Just click on my other videos. Okay, so this is not a very expert tutorial. This is a very beginner mod tutorial. So if you are expecting that this will contain something very expert, so that's not true. And this is a very easy tutorial. Okay guys, so here we go. So first of all, when you open the video pad, you will have this interface. Okay, so I usually like this interface, but uh, I prefer this one go to options and select dual previews okay and uh, then go down to the lower resolution this will just be the preview resolution okay and then press ok so here it is now we have two displays so with this way it will be easier for you to work in both of these and to check the effects so here I have just a random clip from one of my movies so I will click on the FX here and and in this you will select the zoom effect there that one okay so and also if you don't have that side of this window so you can click this and that side will appear okay that's how it works so now you will select here the restraint so usually nowadays every video is 16 ratio 9 so you will just select this or either you will select this for ratio 3 if your video is square so you will select that or if your video is like this one so you will select the 16 ratio 9 ok that's it now what I will do is in this you can drag down this bar and you can move and view all the video so what now i'm going to do is with this you will just a keyframe you can see there is written add keyframes at current position so it will just create a keyframe for this amount of zoom now i will just move forward and I will just play with it ok there you can see now at this moment I also I want to insert another key and it will also be of this zoom this amount of zoom now when I just move a little forward I want to zoom onto that I want to focus onto that window there you can see so you can just drag this and now move this so that that window is in the center of this you can say it's your focus so we have just focused on that window you can also see the result in the other window that's the benefit of having two windows there you can see what happens now you can just move a few frames forward and then bring it back onto that so with this what happens that the window will not go off the screen so similarly keep on going and you will get some good results okay now that are just for focusing on a single object you can just play it and it will be really cool there it is there you see how it works 
so you can go on and do insert the keyframes throughout the video and it's really easy now another thing that I'm going to show you is very interesting okay so let's finish up with this video I'll just play it and there you can see it results really good okay now I'm going to delete this effect and you will see how this video looks without that effect So there you can see there is nothing interesting in that and I will just undo that and just watch it now so it looks really epic and really intense oh, and so I will delete this effect and I will insert it again so there you can see now I will zoom on to that okay sorry i forgot this you will have to restrain select the restraints otherwise you will zoom in proportionally so this is good practice okay there you can see now i will just focus around on to that writing on the wall just like sliding the camera around that text idea is that you can do pretty much everything with this software it's really interesting here you can see and it's really easy by the way and within a few minutes you will get really good results So there you can see you will just focus the viewers on to that text of the video okay so that was it and if you don't know how to save the video you so here is the method just come down here to the export video and select video file and then you can select your own settings there you can see the frame rate so i recommend that you set the settings same as to the video that you are working on and that is automatically done just press the detect and it will select the settings for you so right now this video is of this much resolution so that's it and then give it an m here and it will be saved here and then click on create and that's it and that's it it is saving the file so i hope you enjoyed that video guys thanks for watching and leave a like to the video and please subscribe to spectrum and channel thanks for watching Thanks for watching and subscribe.